Hello there, friends. Welcome back. More modded Isaac Eden streaking. One streak last episode. Total banger. We out here this time. Uh, hell, I, I didn't even want to show you the seed. I'm going to be real. I hit the wrong button. Uh, so my I immediately started to move in the opposite direction than where I wanted to go out. We'll show the seed after the room finishes, huh? Here you go. BXXP. By BXXP, I mean BXKP. Billy, Billy's X-Ray with Kristaps Porzingis left, we won bowling ball. I don't know. It, look, you think I know how to make a, a good sentence out of a, a seed? I don't even know how to, I don't know how to read. So that's where I'm at today. Uh, Mr. Boom, and it's not Mr. Boom, it's actually Mega, Mr. Mega, Big Mega. Dude, it's bad if I don't remember items in Isaac anymore. Uh, but the important thing is five bombs uh, gives a lot of min maxi potential on the first floor, which obviously we love to do here in the modded Isaac Eden streaking series. Season five, baby. Uh, Satanic Bible, I'm going to be real with you, mom's pad. It's been real. It's been fun. Um, I got no interest in doing anything with you for the rest of the run, so we'll be hard chilling for the time being. Uh, I am going to go for the super, hey now, you're an all-star, get your game on, go play. Okay, fair enough, not the secret room. Or I just put it in the wrong spot, uh, and that's probably more likely. It, it was pretty unlikely for it to be the secret room um, now, that I, now that I look at the floor layout there. The secret room is much more likely to be on that far right wall in this room. You might be going, Tyler. Why do you say that? And uh, the answer is, I'm a freaking genius, dude. I'm a freaking genius. I don't know. Th th there's there's so many things that come with just experience and Isaac where you just look at a room and you go, yep, yeah, yeah, there's a secret room. That was one of those ones. It was pretty cocky for me to be like, yeah, the secret room's right there. Because uh, there, there was no indication in this room whatsoever that the secret room would be in there. And yet, look at me, dude. We out here. So, interesting rune. Uh, I love the three cent bombs. I love Crooked Penny. I think, you know, those are those are both awesome. The the card also I'm, I'm intrigued with. If it's a Joker, uh, then obviously that's a huge leg up for the, the run to have a, a Devil Deal on the first floor. We have the HP to handle it as well. Uh, but, you know, we can talk about all the wonderful things in life. The fact of the matter is we got one penny to our name. It's going to be real difficult. Uh, to get anything with one penny. I am going to nuke the hell out of that guy. Um, he has no reason to be alive in my understanding of living. This is not an XL floor, despite the floor being, like, actually massive. And this is a ton of rooms for a first floor. Uh, first floor on a run. It's so big, dude. Like, look at how big this floor is. I'm not looking for a super secret room uh, in, in total darkness here. Uh, inability to see. I got no interest. Double telepills, though. Allow me to say I'm I'm the minorest bit uh, interested. Because now, that's a free teleport out of something on the next floor. And we're almost guaranteed to have some kind of boss trap or mob trap or something like that room next time. Duke of Flies, you are way harder in the Legend of Bumbo than you are here. I'm going to tell you that right now. You you are a pain in the ass in the Legend of Bumbo. Uh, you are not a pain in the ass in Isaac. Step up your game, buddy. Step up your goddamn game. Another Curse of the Lost. I'm starting to think that uh, the world just hates me and birth is a curse, existence of prison, and things like that. Um, but YOLO, dude. YOLO, right? We're going to have seven and a half hearts following this room, unless I'm an idiot. And I was not an idiot, so we will have seven and a half hearts. That's real good. I mean, that's two deals that we can take on this floor um, when we get our devil deal. Is I'm going to go so far as to say it's actually a 100% chance we get a deal here. Because... That would require me finding a red heart upgrade and then losing eight and a half black hearts. Uh, 
is pretty damn unlikely. You know, I'd put it at like, I need to have a stroke at the keyboard uh, after finding a red heart upgrade, which is already going to be pretty low. It, let's just say it ain't gonna happen. We're gonna get a deal, it's going to be lovely. Uh, and that deal is going to give us the, the keys to the kingdom on the run. Sock, speed up and spike immunity. Uh, consider me incredibly interested in your socks. That is something that uh, normally I just walk around and I tell to random people on uh, campus. And and they give me a funny look, but in the Binding of Isaac, uh, this is something that I'm, I'm automatically intrigued. Monstro. Monstro, I, I really don't think you want this, buddy. I don't think you want this. You, you're so dead, Monstro. What do we want from an item from this one? Uh, I mean, call me, call me cheap, but we basically probably win the run. That was horrible. Uh, we basically win the run. You give me a tears up, Monstro. You know, a screw, a toothpick, something like that. We walk into the devil deal. It contains, like, the mark, and we're good. So polydactyl is fine. No, not, not my favorite in the game, but it's fine. And then in here, it's kind of Garbo. Um, it's kind of Garbo. But there is there is definitely a play here. Uh, and the play is to do this, pop it, and then this, pop both. And now we're getting two hearts every time we uh, get six rooms charged. Which is obviously much better than getting, you know, one heart every six rooms. It'll pay for itself um, very, very quickly. I mean, hell, we, we can place down a bomb right here, and it's going to pay for itself right here. You know, it is going to give us a minor speed downgrade now when we pop it. Um, but it'll also give us the damage upgrade as the nail doing that. And we do also, because we have the nail active, we can grab all of these, which is going to give us just even more money. Will allow us to buy socks, which will give us a speed upgrade. Uh, and that speed upgrade will help us to feel a little bit better about the uh, the speed downgrade we're getting every time we pop uh, the void. So, kind of a win-win. Uh, the first look I had at that devil deal, I was like, this is not really great at all. Um, but on a second look, you realize that... That's a devil deal that is just, you know, you pay forward a ton on that. Um, you know, for a player of my caliber in the game, and that's not to toot my own horn, it's just 2,000 hours in, you start to you start to know the game a little bit, believe it or not. Uh, a player of my caliber, every six rooms getting two hearts, is going to be real difficult to lose, uh, and also real difficult to not have uh, literally 12 hearts at the end of the run. Is going to require getting some really, really crap draw from items uh, to, to stop us on this one. So, I feel good. I feel good. -na 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 -na. Well, we'll do what we want to, and that's win the run. So good. So good. Ba -na -na -na. Bum, bum, bum. I've been listening to two songs recently. I always do, so... I, I have Spotify, which is a lovely application. You might be an Apple Music person. You might be a, a Pandora person. Uh, if you're a Pandora person, I'm going to question you because Pandora is actually horrible. Um, but if you're a if you're an Apple Music person, look, Apple Music is fine, right? It's fine. Um, Pandora, not as fine. But I use Spotify, and I always will find, you know, I'll, I'll hear some song somewhere, and I'll go, oh, damn haven't heard that in so long uh so then i'll go and i'll look up that song i'll add it and then i'll go to the artist and i'll be like oh do i know any of these other songs and i go oh my god that song i forgot about that song too uh and then for like the next week it's just those two songs or three songs on repeat forever uh that for me this week is oh yo this will be an interesting run little lacquer faggy now don't get me wrong uh before you before you shoot me and go tyler why take lacquer faggy uh, since it's not actually that good. It, you're right, it's not good, but it's a fun item. Has the ability to generate some really uh, interesting synergies for us. Juicy Sack was infinitely better, okay? And that was the other item in that room. Uh, Juicy Sack is a better item, okay? So we'll just get that out there immediately. Uh, yes, I chose to take a worse item there for the sake of possibly making the run a little bit more fun. That's life, dude. That's life. 
Give me the key. We, we actually don't have any keys. I would love to void that as well. Uh, and other things I'd love to void are just items that suck. Uh, keep in mind that is a big component of the void is just getting rid of items that suck. You know, like this. <laughs> I'm, uh, look. I'm not going to say that I like Isaac's heart. Isaac's heart has its place on runs. Uh, this is not a run where Isaac's heart has a place. This is a run where Isaac's heart exists solely for me to yeet Isaac's heart out of existence in return for hopefully like a tears up and a damage up. Uh, primarily a damage up because I think that's where we're hurting the most on this run. But it will be lovely uh, to get rid of it. What an interesting room. Scares the hell out of me, but uh, quite an interesting room. Get out. Featuring uh, Jordan, Jordan Peel. Jordan Fisher? One of the Jordans. It's not Jordan Fisher. He's too busy playing Fortnite, but it's all good. Uh, what was I talking about? Oh, the two songs I've been listening to. I've been listening to a lot of Hall of Notes. A little uh, man eater. Oh, here she comes. Oh, watch out, boy. She'll chew you up. It's such a banger, dude. And then uh, the other song, which now all of a sudden I'm completely blanking on what that other song is. You would know it if you heard it, but uh, I just added them today, but I, I can tell it's going to be my next, you know, these are the songs that start out the Spotify shuffle when, when I'm working on a project or something. Okay, give me a sec. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to see what that other song is because I'm 90% certain you will know it. That song is, in fact, uh, You Make My Dreams. Which is, uh, you make my dreams come true. Do, 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 ba, do, 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 That one. You all know it, right? All notes, man. What, what a, what a duo. You talk about famous duos in, uh, the history of the world. Sure, you go Michael Jordan, you go Scottie Pippen. No, no, no. You go Hall and you go freaking Oats, man. The true duo. The only duo we need. Uh, I just realized we still have to yeet Isaac's heart out of existence. Uh, and I have spent all of my charges. That's pretty bad, to be fair. Um, we do still have more rooms and a shop, hopefully incoming, that we can buy a thingy in. I'm playing like garbage on this floor and we got 12 hearts. So, if that's not an indication of where this run is going uh, and what I said about it being real freaking good... Uh, I don't know what is. It's a slow run. I mean, that's that's the issue. Slow run. Now, in the terms of songs that are not necessarily uh, bangers, slow ride, not a banger, dude. I, I'm sorry to say, the, the Council of Geneva has spoken. Uh, slow ride, not a banger. Next week, get ready for the uh, Council's decision on Living on a Prayer by Bon Jovi. Uh, spoiler alert, the... The unanimous decision will be not a banger, but pretty good banger if you're drunk and in the car on a road trip. What do you got for me? Seven cents for a little map is fine. I will take this uh, battery charge and I'll shove it up your butt. No, I'm going to go back. I'm going to get Isaac's heart yeeted. We're looking for a damage upgrade. Uh, I will also accept a speed upgrade as canon in this scenario. I will also accept a tears up pretty much every day of the week. Show me the money. It's literally all three of the things I asked for, so it's hard to really complain about that in the absolute slightest. Um, dude, and it, it actually, we felt it too. You, know, you always talk about stat upgrades that you feel. This was a stat upgrade we felt. So this is one of those, you know, hey Tyler, you know, don't sip the bad opinion juice. Don't make bad, uh, bad decisions. This is 100% a let's make bad decisions thing um kind of really interested in the idea of getting some angel room action here now i'm not sure why i would do that i am interested in 100 percent going back though you said there was a spirit heart in this room and i think you're lying to be honest no it's in this room you were <laughs> you were not lying believe it or not Okay, let's fight the boss. Um, I'm curious to see how much damage this thing does. Like, penny change, man. We don't, we don't care enough to do that, ever. Um, 
that's if we stand still in rooms. I suppose maybe, just maybe, we will find a use for that. But allow me to be the one to say that maybe is a strong ass maybe. We are not going to find a good use for that in a room. Um, you're dead though. Devil deal. Angel deal is pretty much exactly what we wanted. I will take the old bandage and then in here, I, look, this is another one of those scenarios. Sensor is better. Okay. Um, but lacrophagy, angelic prism, come on. All right. Come on. It's going to be funky and it's going to be good. I mean, there, there's going to be a lot of shots that come out of this. Just, just look, it, it's already fantastic. So, the only reason that I'm doing this again is we're hoping for the 7 cent. Uh, and by 7 cent, I mean 7 soul heart payout. I will not complain about the 30, uh, 30 coin payout either. And then we'll just hope, you know, there's a chance that we'll get some more angel deals in the future where we can get... Uh, the other key piece. I'm not looking to do, you know, more than this angel in this room, though. You are almost dead. You are dead. Fantastic. One more pop. There's the soul hearts. Uh, we basically get right back up to the top, and life is good. So we went to the shop. Was there anything of value in here? Also, I never bought socks. I, th I said I was going to go buy socks. I never bought it. That would have been really good on this run to have socks. Um, but think of it this way. We would have never gotten the angel deal because we would have never been able to step on the spikes in the curse room because it gave us spike immunity. And thus, we would have never gotten angelic prism. So who's laughing now, huh? Who's laughing now? Probably most of you and my bad decision making. But honestly, what else is new, right? What the hell else is new? Please die. And I would be happier as uh, happier than I could be. What are we looking for on this run? I still think that we're, we're basically a couple damage ups away from uh, massive success on this run. You know, we're already in minor success on the run. But one or two damage ups. I think that's sitting at like... Six damage on this run will be enough to basically carry us to victory. Uh, and that's not a lot of damage. Like, we're, we're very close to that point. That's a shop, dude. This is a shop, chat. What the hell? Oh, this is this is all kinds of funky. Um, the three cent key is fascinating to me. The golden key, three cent. <laughs> not the regular three cent key. The, the regular three cent key is not very fascinating, to be fair. Uh, but that one is. That's also probably gonna. It did not hit the uh, donation machine. Let's buy this deck of cards. It's fine. The world card, fine. Uh, the Bible. Strikes me as dangerous. Uh, just in case I end up doing some whack stuff in the future and go to the dark room and then accidentally fight Satan and then kill myself. That would be. I mean, you might as well just put me into Isaac fails for that one, and I'm not looking to. I'm not looking to be there. Quite today, maybe tomorrow, maybe Tuesday, but uh, not, not at all today. But deck of cards. I'm interested in getting deck of cards into the rotation. I just I don't think we're gonna have the opportunity to. So. I also, I, I feel like we're, we're in a position where we benefit most from not taking items and instead just avoiding them. You know? Uh, even the key pieces. There's a part of me, I felt like we should have been voiding them, but I know that you guys like a good Mega Satan fight at the end of the run. So that's why I, I kind of chose to take them. Um, but that, that would have been two basically free possibly damage ups uh i mean that would have been one real good for us but it's fine uh if you give a heart i will be voiding it i know i'm saving i'm saving a lot of charges on the void right now but it's mainly because i know we have a lot of items coming up that we can uh do a little sucky action on we also have what is a uh probably a uh 
double key room coming up. And there's chances for items in those. It's just unless you give me a pure damage up or an insane synergy to Lacrophagy, which I'm not sure how many insane synergies there are to Lacrophagy, I, I have to just bank on that that being a poor item, right? Maybe play the seed, figure out uh, what what it was, but I don't really care. Now, why did I teleport when I popped uh, popped the thing? That is something that we do not know and likely won't. <laughs> um, but it does scare me a little bit that we teleported. Like, did I miss something? I didn't gulp, like, uh, thingamajiggy remote when you use your spacebar item. I don't know why we teleported. One of you will, and you'll tell me. Uh, but for now, I'm good as is. Uh, we are Oh, crap. Uh, well. It's weird. I mean, that that's for sure. I, I mean, I guess you just go. We, we missed out on uh, muchos on that floor because of that uh pretty weird pretty weird scenario i still don't know why we're teleporting when we uh when we pop our thing yo i'm looking at the items we have and they're not exactly uh not exactly things that will do this it did, like i did not suck up undefined right unless i did did i suck up undefined man i'm not remembering this we, we, oh no, it, the whole run is going downhill, dude. I must have sucked up undefined. I don't remember doing that, though. It's weird. It's weird, but, like, I'm with it because it's weird. Um, <laughs> it's kind of, it's one of those, uh, might as well just let the run get weird kind of runs now. Um, we're, we're still going to be fine. It's just every time we need HP, get ready to teleport to the, you know, freaking error room. Which, I don't even know the implications of, of where that will go on this one. But, it seems like a fun plan. So, I'm kind of with it. This is not the right direction. We are going to want to take a sharp right. Also, so here we go. I can literally convert my tears. Like, do you see? Ready? So, st stack them up. Run through them. They're converted. That's crazy. What an amazing synergy, man. I feel like we really hit a gold mine with this. Thank you to my own stupid brain for not picking up socks. That's all it boils down to, dude. Thank you to my stupid brain for not picking up socks. If we picked up socks, this this fun synergy would not have been possible. And instead, you know, we're living a fantastic life in a new world of uh, synergistical opportunities while you normal chads are using... Uh, using lacrophagy and going, oh, Tyler is so bad. Does this look bad to you? Because I'm having a blast with it. You know, some bad things in life are fun. It's <laughs> like robbing banks. <laughs> I'm very kidding, okay? Uh, don't rob banks. I. They're very kind places. Okay. Secret room? It's not the secret room. It's touching the boss room, so... It was not going to be the secret room. I will teleport at the end of the boss room, though. It's just I kind of want my deal, man. And then we got to be really careful on the next floor. You can just go to hell, dude. Uh, we got to be really careful on the next floor. Because I definitely do not want to miss out on the mob fight. So, be super cautious. I will take the... Uh, the HP up and then go in here. And, uh, yeah. Yeah, so we won. 
like a hundred percent but if if you weren't positive this confirms it so there's that on top of that greed's gullet um on top of that being able to fly and access all this it's a gg dude it's a gg we're we're gonna cruise from here on out uh leviathan transformation 12 black hearts six damage lacrophagy with seven uh seven rate of fire you get one more tears up you're you're going into unstoppable range on this run that said we might already be there boy where do you think the uh boss room is i'm gonna go with far south I don't, I barely even care about item rooms anymore. I'm going to be honest. This, this is one of those runs where, yeah, I've seen it all. Uh, let's just, let's just get this, uh, get this W, win this bread, whatever the kids say these days. No cap. Um, life will be, life will be a breeze for me. Thank you for the one spirit heart. I'm, I'm not used to the spirit hearts, man. I'm used to the, uh, black hearts at this point. No, I will say one thing. This is not a very hushable run. Uh, the implications of going to hush, sure. I, I think that it could be a fun time. Um, but not really sure I care enough about it to go do it and, like, rush through these next two floors to make it to hush. So we will just chill a little bit. I would love an orbital on this run. I feel like I normally have an orbital at this point, and I do not have one i also do all of a sudden feel guilty about skipping a shop and the uh, shop and item room and things like that please be the shop it's not the shop just get me out because i don't really want to do this room if i were the shop slash item room it's definitely going to be down this path right J just let me let me go we, we still... The run's not there, okay? Is good. And we're still unstoppable. But the run is not at a point of no return quite yet. We're still not quite strong enough. I need another damage up. I said that six damage would be what we want. I kind of want eight damage. We get to eight damage or just another tears up. One of the two. And another tears up might actually do it. Because then Lacrophag, you'll start to pop a little bit more. Uh, and that could be... That could be the keys to the kingdom. Please, shop and item room. That's what you love to see. That's what you love to see. Now just allow this item in here to be amazing. Will I pop a uh, thingy on it if it sucks? It kind of sucks, so I kind of want to, but there's still that chance. Oh, no, we have the full card. So it's actually is, is foolproof. No pun intended. Um, we will pop the void in that room. Plus, it gives us the HP, so it's all good. Beautiful. We just got... Okay. Roll back the clip. We got Brimstone for a second, just so you know. I don't know where it went, but we had it for a second. And it was a little bit strange. I'm trying to figure out... Maybe we're... Something is giving us... Oh, no, you know what? I know it. It's Sulfur. Sulfur gave us Brimstone uh, in the room that we were in because it got voided. That's exactly what it is. Uh, false alarm. False alarm, everybody. We did not get Brimstone permanently. It was just the item that was doing exactly what uh, we took it to do. So, no, no worries. Everything working as intended. Uh, fate... I already got Flight Dude, and I kind of don't want Red Heart, so Fate will be being ignored. Don't get me wrong, Fate's a fun time. It's a fine item, I appreciate the the Tinted Rock uh, Fate play there. So many shots, none of them hitting Mom. This is a run where, like, the Wiz would be awesome. I, I would pay good money for the Wiz here. You might be like, Tyler, why the Wiz? Why not, like, 2020? Well, you don't ask for good items. You ask for, you know, mediocre items and then hope that the game feels sorry for you and gives you the good one anyway. Okay, take the Polaroid, head on down. Peace out, see you later. Uh, I will happily pop Thingamajiggy as many times as freaking possible down here. Uh, and I'll actually, I'll reserve the full card to do it. Because we can just do this with, uh... 
our space bar item instead, get the HP. And this is one I will I will happily hope for the error room. It would be a blessing to skip out on doing uh, the majority of the womb and just move on to the boss fight and live our best life. Thank you for just clearing most of the enemies except for that. Pardon me? There's another one of you? Freak you. Get out. Okay, let's go. We're gonna we're gonna do a little teleport action. It'd be awesome if Cricket's head was just sitting in here. It was not, but it would have been awesome if it was. Peace out. See you later. Error room. Uh, Miner's Lantern, a luck up. Okay. It's fine. Do I really want the uh, sticky nickel? Why not, man? Dupe those. Head on down. It's a floor we just didn't care about, man. Uh, in fact, this floor I also struggle to care about, but I care about it more than the previous one. We can do this, and then just come in and snag them. That's a good use for the full card. We know exactly where we're going with mapping. Uh, doesn't take a rocket scientist to figure it out on these floors. Will I be... I hated walking out of that room. Uh, will we be popping the void regularly on this floor? Um, no. And I should have actually thought about that. We should have done the dark room on this floor because uh, doing the dark room we would have been able to pop and then it would just would have brought us down uh to the dark room had we gotten an error room but we have no guarantee that the error room will take us to the cathedral which could end up ending our run early uh we don't want to do that i am taking a lot of damage though it's getting to the point i'm gonna want to pop uh want to pop the void repeatedly to actually get the hp out of this so what's up with you huh you're a little sus, dude. <laughs> You're a little sus. I don't know how much I like you. Get, get wham blasted. The little, little bomb got him, too. The little quick wombo combo is like I'm playing bumbo, dude. Gotta love that. Uh, full run reroll. I'd invite it. Oh, let's do it, man. What could go wrong, right? So, 9 damage, 6 rate of fire, anti-grav. Uh, but we also got holy light. No idea what the HP is, but I promise you, it's not bad. So, I mean, look, we threw away a run that was fun. Was the run good, though? It, it's debatable, right? It's debatable. I think it was I think it was an enjoyable experience that a couple more items, we would have been uh, really, really sitting pretty on it. But in its current state, I don't know. I think it was just okay. This, though... Uh, it's a good anti-grav run. You know, a lot of, lot of holy light action. Our luck is, uh, it's not off the charts good. But we're still getting a wide variety of holy light shots out there. I think it works. Uh, we also would have the opportunity to go to hush. I still don't really think this is a hushable run. Um, and I forgot to re-add the hush gives Eden's blessing mod to the mod pack. So, we kind of have no incentive to go to hush at the current moment. I will uh, probably be adding that mod back. That tends to give us a good reason to go to Hush, and it's pretty fair and balanced. Uh, and just fun, because then you start with another item, and sometimes that item sucks. So you, you end up in in rough shape uh, every which way, and that makes it fun. You are dead, mama. Please, thank you. Devil deal. Did get a devil deal. No interest in those. Uh, I'm not going to do Hush just because I, I really don't think this run is very Hushable. And I didn't really know what my HP was at, which scared me a minor bit. I don't need the bombs. HP is not as good as... What is this? <laughs> HP is not as good as I, I wanted it to be. But uh, it's still good enough. This is a fascinating room, dude. This is Community Remix uh, that's doing this. So if you're interested in a room like that, check out that mod. A uh, very good mod, made by some very good friends of mine in the Isaac community. It is, uh, I, I don't want to be in this room. I'm going to be real. Uh, it does add the Adam character to the game, and Adam is pretty fun as well. Obviously, we won't be playing as him. Why do I have a massive damage up in this room? kind of wish I could see all the items. It's just there's a good chance that I will not know what they are from here. Uh, I don't see anything that screams, you know, this is going to give you the keys to the kingdom in terms of high damage. 
But all of a sudden we got high damage. It seems like when I got hit, I lost the high damage for a while. It's not Crown of Light, um, which you would normally think would do it. I don't know what it is. But hey, man. That's okay. As long I mean, if we keep this this damage right now, I'm hard chilling on this run. This will this will be an easy win. But there's always a little bit of danger when you reroll a run. Uh, y you never know what the run's going to give you. It could be terrible, you know? Uh, we got lucky. This is a run that I, I would say it's honestly is pretty comparable to our last run. Um, it's not overpowered. Anti-grav is, uh, you know, in my opinion, not the strongest item in the game. You know, there's... Yikes. Uh, there's a lot of... Okay, so when we got hit, we lost all of that damage. Which is, I, I kind of figured that was the case, but we just want to be weary of that going forward of, hey, stupid, just don't get hit. Easier said than done. I mean, all things considered, but angels, we have heard from high. Go to hell. Thank you. Okay. Is it an easy Isaac fight? Uh, it's not the worst Isaac fight. The fact that we got a lot of HP makes me feel a little bit better about it, but I wouldn't go so far as to call it an easy fight. You know, we're, uh... I mean, we can Pac-Man this guy along. <laughs> hey, just like, uh, come eat these shots, dude. Hey, Isaac. Just like, uh, come, come hither, buddy. I don't know, man. This was a weird run. Um, thought we had a lot going, but we, in fact, only had some going. <laughs> in fact, we missed out on a lot of the lot in the lot going, you know? No, Tyler, I have no idea what you're saying. Fair enough. Thank you, Omniscient Narrator. Okay. Stop shooting me, Isaac. You're supposed to be a kind enemy, not somebody that hits you. The final boss should be bygone. Give me that sweet bumbo lore. Um, Tyler, uh, uh, bygone is actually the forgotten or blue baby, not uh, not bygone. It's just an alternate name for another character in the Isaac universe. Do, do you even game theory, Tyler? Uh, Shut up. Okay, ten keys. Curse of the blind. This ought to be good. Isaac's heart. No, jawbone. Isaac's heart. Apple, pretty good actually. Purple puffball, totally fine. And rosary, uh, good for the HP, but sadly will probably ruin us by making us take the Bible here later on, which will be a little bit unfortunate because I really don't want the Bible. It serves us pretty much zero value whatsoever, but we will still welcome it with open arms. Speed is off the charts right now. Uh, is Apple really that big of a speed upgrade? Trying to figure out. Do we have like Zodiac or something? Is that what's going on? We're getting some weird stuff happening from Zodiac. We we don't have Zodiac. I don't know where we're getting these weird uh, these weird effects from. It's very strange, though. It's very strange. If you can figure out like half of what happened on this run, um, please comment it. Because either I'm just stupid, or I'm missing something. Please. Thank you. Oh, yeah. Thank you. More items, please. I'm also still... We have three rate of fire. Dude, What? what is this run? We're getting so many weird... Up we got two rate of fire. We're getting weird upgrades throughout the run. I don't understand... It's difficult to comprehend. This is also a run where, like, a little bit of luck would go a really long way for us. Because a little bit of luck basically just means a ton more razor blades and holy light shots. And you have a ton of those, you're, you're hard carried for the run. But we appear to not have uh, that good of luck, please. Pisces. We got one rate of fire. 
I mean, this run has turned around in the weirdest way at the end of this. Because um, all of a sudden we have this barrage of tears from hell. L look at this, dude. Just like walk into this. I'm surprised that did not melt you. Okay. I mean, dude, you, if you want to give me this as the run, I'm not going to complain. This is even better than the nine damage you were giving me before. I'm just confused is all. I, like, I want answers of why it's doing this. A range up. Dude, I wish I was at a point in my life where I could care about the range up you just gave me, but sadly, I got other uh, priorities to to worry about at the current moment. Do not get hit, because it's going to break this beautiful, uh, beautiful garbage we have. It's not purity either, right? It is purity, dude. That's what it is. Okay. I did not see purity in that list before. That's how we're getting the uh, tears ups and damage ups and things of that sort. Um, I'm just happy we managed to pull basically the best one possible with the tears up right now. And this is making us body the floor. Now, I would like to find the direction uh, that leads to the boss fight. Because I'm not sure you've noticed... But, uh, we're basically in, in hell trying to find anything here. That was good. That was better. This will be best, question mark? It was pretty good. It was pretty good. Alright. I mean, we can just spam shoot the anti-grav if we want. But I kind of feel like it's is not necessary to spam shoot. And we would just set up a barrage. So we did get hit. We lost the tears up. Uh, life goes on. Pray you get it back or just pray for damage. If you get a speed up, you're going to be a little bit disappointed, to be fair. And you're probably going to purposely hit yourself in the next room. So, a damage up. I mean, look. Am I going to be the one that uh, complains about having 9 damage right now? Is 9 damage 5 rate of fire? It's still pretty good, dude. Is it better than the, the tiers? I mean, that leaves a little bit to be discussed, I'm sure. But it feels good. And if it looks like a duck and it quacks like a duck, then she's probably a witch. So I feel like that's good enough for me. Yeah, the nine damage is good enough, man. Like, finding the freaking boss fight, though, would be the next big step to me being happy. This is starting to get a little bit ridiculous, man. I haven't full cleared the chest in... A very long time. We'll bucket a lard action. Our speed is fine, so I'm not concerned. Could still be here. This room scares me, dude. This is too many flies. It's just too many flies. What are you? Lazarus is ranked. Well, just in case we die, uh, at least we have another route to success. Not really all that concerned about dying. I just need to make it to the end of the freaking run, man. There, there's no fear of death. Here's the boss, finally. There's no fear of death, it's just a fear of uh, losing my freaking mind by uh, never playing another game ever again because I'm stuck in this Isaac run. I got Bumbo to record, dude. Don't you know they, every, these people need their fix of uh, Lost Legends of Lost Bumbo? The new action uh, strategy roguelite by Edmund McMillan that takes place in the Isaac cinematic universe. You're not dead. Bring you. Chest? I was greedy. Okay. Uh, let's do it. Goodbye, blue baby. Been nice knowing you. Blessed music in the back. Let's, uh... Let's get this going. I can probably stand here. I mean, we just want to launch a barrage of holy light and, uh... Thingamajiggy stuff. This, this re skinned him to be actually blue baby the uh, graphics overhaul mod it actually looks really good to be honest uh, he looks absolutely horrifying and I love it I saw a really good reskinning I do wish that like the final fights of Isaac actually were good like, this is the only one of my only complaints about the game is its bosses are actually terrible like, Delirium sucks. Mega Satan's the only boss that actually feels like a boss. Um, the Lamb is fine, actually. 
But Blue Baby is just Isaac with flies, which is pretty bad in the end. Um, the Isaac fight, the Isaac fight's also good. And maybe I don't know what I'm talking about. Anyway, that's gonna do it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, that's two wins down in the Eden streak. Here's to uh, 28 more to beat our streak, I think. That sounds good. I'm out of here. You guys have a good one. See you in the next episode. Bye-bye.